Hey everyone, Matt with Triple Act Adventures. Today we are going to do an installation guide on third-party applications, uh, also known as APK files, onto the new Garmin Tread devices. So this will cover your Garmin Tread 8-inch, your Garmin Tread XL Overland Edition, which is seen here in the video, and also the Garmin Tread Baja Race Editions. All of these will work the exact same way. Uh, just follow along here in the menus and you'll be able to do this. All right, guys, so let's get into this. It's a pretty simple process, but before we jump into it, let me kind of tell you um, why I wanted to show you this and why it's different than a typical Android operating system. And that's worth noting. These all run on an Android operating system. That's what Garmin choose to use on these devices, but they have um, done it in their own flavor. Big note here is that they have disabled Google Play services. So if you're familiar with Android devices, typically you would just go to your Google Play, download an app, easy peasy, done. Um, in this case, you cannot do that. They have uh, disabled that um, actually on the coding level of this device. What you can do though, and what I'm about to show you is kind of a workaround. Um, there are certain applications out there that this may not work on, so you're gonna need to do your own testing on. Everything I'm gonna show you today that is on my device or the demonstration today that I'll show you downloading an app does work perfect. One note, um, to download apps, you are going to need some sort of internet connection. Uh, you will see in the top right corner over here, I am on Wi-Fi. Um, so you will need that to download the apps, but you don't need to do that to just activate the ability to do it. So without further ado, let's jump into that. Um, so first things first, I like to just work in portrait mode when using this. Um, it's not required, um, but we'll do that. It just makes it a little bit easier to kind of scroll through the menu. So you just rotate your device, get yourself into portrait mode. The first step is while you're at your home screen, if you're not already on your home screen, you can just press this button here. That'll take you to your home screen. First thing you wanna do is go into settings. And I should note, if for any reason you have reorganized your device, you can move apps, you can change widgets, all that stuff, we won't cover that in this video. But if you have moved that, just follow along. First step, go into settings. So first thing you're gonna do is pull up your settings. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says about device. You will not see this developer options on your device unless you've already done this. Uh, ignore that for now. It will show up once you do this. I've already done all this uh, on the device, so obviously it's showing up. First step, so settings, scroll down, click about device. Scroll down again. Where it says build number here, you're gonna to wanna to click this build number multiple times. On mine, uh, it will not come up with a, the message saying, uh, there's a message that'll come up and say there's a countdown. So let me show you. If you keep clicking this, you'll see the thing down there. Mine says no need, you're already a developer. But if you keep clicking this build number, it'll give you a countdown to three, two, one, and then it'll give you a message saying, congratulations, you're now a developer. That is how you activate developer menu and then you are now a developer. So let's go back one. You will now see the menu down here that says developer options. That's the next step. Next step is you're gonna go into developer options and this is where Garmin was pretty smart. They kind of hid the options to download third-party applications. You would, if you scroll through all these developer options, all these menus, you will not find it. You actually have to go up to the little icon up here and type in unknown. It'll come up with install unknown apps. You click that. It will blink and highlight the little spot that says install unknown apps. You click that. You'll come up with a menu here. Yours will only say browser. If it already says allowed, perfect. You're already good to go. If it does not, you click browser and just allow from this source. This allows you to download third-party uh, files and applications. Obviously read the note there. It can harm your device. You do need to be careful doing this. Uh, there is a way to factory reset. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's go back one spot though. 
You'll notice it says APK Pure. You will not have that. We'll cover that in a minute here. That is something I have installed after the fact. There are other things in those menus that you can do, like keeping the screen on, a lot of other things that are in a developer menu. Be careful what you start doing though, because that is not intended by Garmin to be there, um, which brings up the part that I kind of hinted to before. So I guess it's worth noting. Garmin does state, let's go back to the main menu here. Garmin does state deep in their instructions that third-party application files can be downloaded on this device, but they in no way, shape, or form are going to help you, support you, warranty the device if you do that. But they do kind of hint to the fact that yes, it's there is an ability to do it, and that if you factory wipe your device, it'll put it all back to the day you bought it. So really, I guess what Garmin's kind of saying is we're not gonna help you. We know you probably are gonna do it, and if you're kind of nerdy like I am, and if you're watching this video, you probably are as well. Um, you're interested in doing that, they're not gonna help you through the process, don't call them for customer service, nothing like that. Really all they're gonna say is you could make some, you know, you could damage the device or cause um, issues and if you do that, you can do a factory wipe. So let's cover that. If you wanted for any reason to factory wipe this device, and I'll be honest guys, I've had multiple updates from Garmin and even updates on the apps and I've had zero issues with any functionality on anything. So. And I've been doing this uh, multiple months now. I actually just went on uh, a four-week overland trip, well, three-week overland trip out west, which you guys will see videos coming soon on that. Um, yeah, so everything has worked great, but let's cover this. So first thing you're going to do is go to settings. You're going to go to personal, device reset, erase all data. That's going to do a full factory reset on your device. It's gonna delete everything and you're gonna start back from factory. I have never done this on this device. My only note to anybody, if you're going to do a full factory reset, I would recommend removing your SD card if you've put one in there with extra files. I'm not sure if it wipes the files or not. Just a note, I would recommend doing that. All right, so let's get to the fun stuff. Now you've figured out how do I activate developer mode? How do I bail myself out if I made a mistake? Now, how do I install applications, right? So this is all gonna be done through the internet browser on that device. Now I'm gonna go back to portrait mode because I find it a little bit easier to do the web in that portion. And you could do this, guys, either way. I just, it's my personal preference. Um, so. To open up the browser, if you're not already aware of the browser, it's under apps. It is not gonna be under navigation or adventure. It's gonna be under tools. You'll see it at the top here. It says browser, ignore APK peer once again. And you can see I have Gaia, JBV1, my overland or my overkill solar. And we're actually today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to install Waze just as an example. But so your first step is gonna to be to open up your browser. It will automatically open up, you know, Again, if you're connected to the internet, it'll automatically open up to a Garmin website. So there's a couple ways to do this, and I've kind of mentioned the APK Pure thing multiple times here. That is my preferred choice of doing this. I will warn you guys, though, that is probably not the safest way. The safest way to download applications would be, for instance, type in Waze APK and search right in Google. APK mirror is typically gonna be the top one that pops up and you guys can see that there. That is probably the safest website to download APK files. Uh, they have their own installer or ways to install applications. You do need to kind of read through. I have used APK mirror on this device before to download things. Um, it doesn't have everything on there though. Um, I would say maybe in the air of being so safe on their mirrored files for APK. Uh, they don't have everything. And I kind of wanted to do things that were a little bit out of the box. So I chose to go with APK Pure. For the showing you guys, or just for the demonstration purpose today, we'll show what I use and how I use it. Um, but just, I wanted you guys to know that I wouldn't maybe recommend using APK, APK Pure because it's probably not the safest method, but it is what has worked the most for me and allowed me to use a lot of the apps that aren't on APK Mirror. So let me just show you that. So if you go into here and you typed in, I'll delete that out, APK, no, sorry. That's not what I wanted. 
APK pure, not mirror. Helps if I show you what I really wanted to do. Uh, yeah, 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 just allow me to go in there. So you'll pop up, it says APK pure. You'll go to this website. There are a lot of ads on APK pure, just a heads up. Use APK app. So follow the instructions there, download it, all that stuff, it'll download onto your device. This is like a download manager, updater, um, all that stuff, all in one, and it integrates right into the Garmin uh, really nicely, actually. So I, I've been very happy with this. Again, guys, there's a lot of ads, questionable, just be careful, I guess. You know, like I've had no issues, and I know a lot of people that use this, but just be careful. You know, you're downloading stuff from that was not on the Google Play Store already from the get-go, so tread carefully. So once you download it, it will go into your apps. It will not be on your home screen. It'll be in your apps. So you're gonna open that back up, and as I showed you guys before, there's APK Pure. This will automatically, and this is where it gets a little funky with downloading third-party applications, it will automatically open up <laughs> in this mode. I don't know why, I think it's because it was designed for a phone, would be my guess. And as you can see, there's ads that pop up in nonsense. The very top, you're gonna to type in whatever app you'd like to download. For our case scenario, it's gonna be Waze. And look at that, we have Waze at the top. We're literally just gonna click install. It will start installing the APK file. Would you like to install it? Yes. APK is installed. Awesome. That's it. So I'm just gonna click done instead of just opening it because I wanna show you guys where it goes. Let's go back to our home screen. And let's actually flip the device around because we're not gonna need APK peer anymore. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, APK peer will give you things at the top here uh, from your top menu, just as an ends up. It'll tell you like installing things, um, updates available, stuff like that, just as a heads up. Anyway, now in our apps, we will now see Somewhere in here, we now have Waze. Now, this is the typical way to open it. If for any reason you wanted to add this to your home screen, let's do that real quick. You press and hold, and this goes even for any of the Garmin pre-installed stuff. You press and hold and drag, and you can drag it over to a home screen. I have a home screen with Gaia, Waze, Onyx. This is my app for my um, uh, lithium-ion house battery system, uh, 205 amp hour. So that's like the, the BMS controller. And then I have JBV1, which connects to my Valentine 1 radar detector, integrates uh, widgets and um, uh, notifications over the map and everything. That's super cool. That's, I should probably do a whole video just on that. Anyway, we've now added that to our home screen. So now you have two ways. You can either open up apps, go to Waze, or you can go to wherever your home screen is and press Waze. Now, I'm, just because we just installed this, I'm not going to be logged in. Uh, let's see what it shows up, though, as... Uh, one note on Waze, you do need to be connected to internet to use Waze. Um, well, I think the, the GPS will work. Um, so it's going to ask you, would you like to use access the GPS on this device? I always like to say allow only while using the app. It'll probably have me log in. We'll see what happens here. I'm not going to log in. Um, no, just get started. And uh, it flipped around here. You'll see some, some, a lot of apps are gonna try to go to um, portrait mode because they are designed for phones, but you can always flip it around, continue as guest. Don't mind all the messing around there, guys. And now you look, we now have a full ways. And because we're online, you can either target this to your phone or something like that, or as long as you're on Wi-Fi, which if you have that in your car, that's great for you. I don't. I just, what I do, I never really use Waze anymore, to be honest, guys. I just use the Garmin. Uh, but if I wanted to use Waze, I link it to my phone with a hotspot. It uses very little data. Um, and you have full-blown Waze. Same thing works with any other application, guys. So that is how you download stuff. Now, for the sake of this video, I also want to show you guys how you download or uh, get rid of apps. So you can either do it through, again, once again, you can either do this step through here or your main menu. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, um, let's do it here, just in case you didn't add it to your menu. You're going to press and hold on the application you want to delete. And then it'll come up to this menu. You, so you drag it, and then you go up to where it says uninstall, and you drop it. It'll say, do you want to uninstall this app? And you say yes. 
uninstalled Waze. As easy as that, guys. It's cleaned, it's wiped, it's not on your device anymore. Nice and easy. I think that really covers everything on, on this, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I do plan on doing a separate video just on JVV1. Um, there are some notes on that app and some cool stuff, but that covers how to install third-party applications on your Garmin Tread. Play with it. Let me know what applications you use. Um, I personally, as I showed you guys, well, obviously we just deleted Waze, but I've messed with Gaia on here. Uh, you can download all of your GPX files and everything right on onto Gaia. Same thing with Onyx. As long as you're on the internet with these two, they work great. Um, if you're not on the internet, you got to download offline maps, which is kind of the whole point in having Garmin is that you don't need the internet to do navigation. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, all this stuff has worked great, guys. Uh, I've been looking at some other apps, like, for instance, something that would integrate with my OBD2 reader, maybe be able to pull up some data on this as well. I think the options are endless. Let me know what you think of this video. Send some uh, stuff in the comments. Do you have any questions? Please like and subscribe if you found this useful. If you guys stumbled upon this and you're, like, mind blown that you could do that on your, you know, Garmin device, it really turns it into a one-stop shop device. Uh, press like. Plus subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.